come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Thank you for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, a movie review podcast that happens every Saturday. New episodes magically appear on iTunes, Stitcher Radio, Google Play, and YouTube. As if by magic, Irish magic. They're just there. <laughs> yes. Arr, that's a pirate. Says you're thing. a pirate Never again. Sorry, yeah. You tried being Canadian, you were a pirate. Now you tried being Irish, you're a pirate. That's the major reason I picked this movie. It's just like I can do accents throughout the episode again. Yes. Yes, you can. You've got me podcasting your. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, <laughs> we're off to a really good start. Uh, all right. Uh, which is terrible because, like, my family is Irish. Um, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We invite you to, if you like, what you hear here then please go on to one of the aforementioned sites give us a star rating give us a thumbs up give us a comment even on uh you know our facebook twitter or uh where else are we youtube or yeah uh so anyway these are the internet radio superstars you'll be listening to holly michaela sean and i'm colin and tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by sean what did we watch Leprechaun from 1993. Happy St. Patrick's Day. To you all. <laughs> Even though it's a little early, but hey, still premature. You can't Saint do it on Patrick's the day, day of or people will just ignore it. <laughs> so he said, what, 1993? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Who's the guy who brought this movie to us? Who's the director? Written and directed movie? by Mark Jones. You know him from anything else? He did. He directed like seven movies. Most of them were like direct video stuff. Um, I think the only other one that I know of is a little film called uh, Rumpelstiltskin. Anybody ever oh, seen this movie? Oh, man. I've seen this movie. <laughs> I've seen this movie. Sounds about right. It, he's had, so he's got a thing about <laughs> yeah, very magical thing. dwarven creatures running around and terrorizing did, people. Um, did Warwick play no. Rumpelstiltskin? No. He did not. He didn't stick with his actor. No, I don't think it's actually a little person in that. I think it's somebody who's just shorter and oh, kind of runs it? around hunchback. Isn't that a little person? <laughs> Somebody who's shorter. A he's child? He's a little so, shorter. What you say? He's like a jockey. All right? I was just going to say, so he'd be like a jockey. So he's like yeah. a jockey. <laughs> yeah, they don't, they're not considered little people, but he's, right. a, he's like a jockey. Okay. Or a hunchback. Well, the leprechaun's like a late to the game kind of, well, I don't know. I was going to say like. Iconic, yes. Well, he's part of, I think now the leprechaun is kind of accepted as part of the pantheon of the, you know, modern the horror monster, yeah, right? I think so. But he's not really a slasher. In this, he kind of is. I mean, I don't know. Does this movie follow a slasher movie formula, do you say? is Because that's what I was trying. Not, like, is this a slasher movie? It's like a monster a cr- movie? A creature feature, yeah. It's like a monster movie a yeah, little bit. This movie doesn't follow the structure or <laughs> rules of any of those uh, any, genres it's of It's true. <laughs> it's yeah. weird because they start out with the leprechaun, and they pretty much, once they bring him back, they show you the leprechaun. Like, he's there to just cause havoc and run around, and you pretty much see what he's doing. The whole time. They're not trying to like keep it hidden. It's like, what is is it a is it a leprechaun? I mean, they do a little bit at the beginning, but they're not like, what is it? What could be attacking these people? You know it's a leprechaun right off the bat. Did you look into who did who designed the leprechaun? Who the makeup effects? G- uh, George, uh, br- mm. <laughs> I like the way you come prepared yeah. with your own movie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, Gabe, uh, Bo- uh, Gabe Bartalos. And we uh, would know him from He's uh, done other some other shit. Okay. Uh, you keep talking and I'll look it up. <laughs> Well, what do we think of the leprechaun design? I mean, if you're going to design a leprechaun, I mean, what else can you do besides what they did? I think you can kind of do whatever you want as long as the clothes are appropriate. Right. And that's really... Basically, yeah. Yeah. Because this could have been just a dude, I guess, Mm -hmm. in leprechaun clothing, which would have been, I mean... Boring. <laughs> Can Just you imagine Warwick that? Davis a running jockey around? maybe in a leprechaun <laughs> outfit. You can make around. fun of me for that for the rest of the night. I'm not gonna talk to you anymore. Yeah. <laughs> well, Warwick Davis. Uh, so he was famously uh, Wicked, right? Was mm-hmm. that his first in? Uh, sorry, the Ewok mm-hmm. in Return yeah. of the Jedi. Yep. Was that his first entry yep. into the Star Wars? Yep. Yes. Movie? Mm-hmm. And then la- of, later okay. on to Willow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's after Willow. the Ewok adventure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the return to Endor. No, what was the second one called? Wasn't there a return to Endor? Fuck yeah. if I know. I don't it? know. Yeah. Ewok Adventure 2. No. Uh, I, I haven't watched that shit since I was like 
Yeah. Five. There's a special thanks to George Lucas in the end credits of this yeah. movie. Mm-hmm. You serious? Yep. Yes. There yes. Were four. Special thank you For to George Lucas and, and Vice President Dan, Dan Quayle. 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 Yeah. Both in the end credits of yeah. this movie. And it was no like joke. fucking Uncle Sal or something. Yes. Yeah. George Lucas because he let him uh, allowed him to go off and work on this movie. Mm-hmm. What the? How does that happen? I don't mm-hmm. know. He let him. He, he was under. He was under contract. Was so under, I think he, he does. Contract I think he owns him. George Lucas might own more Davis. Oh my god! Do you think it's like you know how Michael Jackson used to hang out with really weird? Like random celebrities, do you think George Lucas <laughs> is like Warren Davis? Davis all the time? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, why or not? Like, or like yeah. how? Oh, better analogy. You know how like um, Marlon Brando was really obsessed with the smallest man in the world and used to hang out with him yeah. all the time. Yeah. That's <laughs> On the that's yeah. Yeah. Dr. Moreau. yeah, but like in real life, they hung out a bunch too. That's why oh, yeah, he got yeah. in that movie because oh. because Marlon Brando was like, I want this guy in this movie. That's how he got in yeah. the movie because they were friends before that. So like, that's, he has pets. Oh my god, people. that's George like, Lucas and yeah. and Warwick Davis. <laughs> Wow, there it is. Yeah. yeah. So it wasn't. So just Dan a thank you to oh. George Lucas for like a discovering and giving Warwick Davis a movie career. No, no. What the fuck? There was no Star Wars thing happening in 1993. No, but I'm this sure this was filmed like, in 91 and still, didn't get released till yeah, 93. Very true. What, what else? Was special going on? editions weren't until like the late. I'm 90s. sure George Lucas was producing something. Unless it was the EY, it seems like those are late eighty. Oh, I don't believe it. There's got to be like he was under contract, <laughs> and he let him under come contract off and do this. to be his best friend oh, wait, and go wait, everywhere wait, he wait, went yeah. forever. Yeah. All right, you can be away for a little bit. Yeah. Well, Willow, I suppose, I was little. a Lucasfilm thing that was yeah. nineteen eighty eight, if mm-hmm. I remember correctly, where he got to be so. the star, little person as the star of mm-hmm. a major Hollywood mm-hmm. film. Mm-hmm. Big deal, yeah. Willow, and from that he got to leverage his star power. For this. Into Leprechaun. Which apparently he loved doing. Well, he looks like he's having a lot of fun in this movie. It, yeah, I imagine. Mm-hmm. It looks Especially fun. later movies where he, the Leprechaun, is the star of the movies. Yeah. yeah. Like, not only are you going to see him, but they give him a bigger role. He gets to do more outrageous things. Like, go and to the hood. Mm-hmm. He, I mean, go to the hood. <laughs> Smoke before that, tea, like, yeah. yeah. But two, three, and four, <laughs> like, the, I mean, especially three, it's like, it's his movie. So I'm pretty sure he liked the freedom of being able to do all that. Mm-hmm. Two, three, and four. How many movies are there in this series? Six. <laughs> oh, two hoods? Two hoods. Two hoods, two, yeah. Two, one in space. Leprechaun in the hood. Wait, wait, you got yeah. Leprechaun the in the hood. city. Leprechaun oh, in Vegas. God. Leprechaun in yeah. space. Leprechaun in the hood twice. And Leprechaun mm-hmm. back to the hood. Mm-hmm. What's yeah. the one that has Hornswoggle as a Leprechaun? It's the Leprechaun Origins. That's Have you a, seen it? No. It's I like it. Wait, no. Oh, so you have a standard <laughs> when it comes to I have a standard. <laughs> Don't be and ridiculous, Colin. you know what it is? Colin. Warwick Davis. <laughs> <laughs> He's not in that movie. I'm not watching it. From what I can tell from that movie, I've never... Have you seen it? No. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Come on. Well, I haven't seen any of these. Have you seen any of the these? Yeah. I, have, I was telling you, look, I've seen the first, the one we watched tonight. This uh-huh. is my third time seeing it. And it was like watching a brand new movie. These, this movie does not stick with me. It just goes, woo, woo, right. I saw it in the theater. I believe it. Back in, yeah. That was the first time. Second time on video. Third time tonight. I've seen it more than that, I'm sure. At least one more time. Okay. Twice on video. Can't remember. Any of the other ones? You've seen, never seen two and three? Seen any of them. What? No, you what haven't seen any of the In the Hoods? No. Because I saw the first. Sorry. What, <laughs> oh. Okay, so what, what are you going to tell me about? Two, three, four, five, I mean, six. He goes to space, sports. man. <laughs> it's in space. Ice Cube shows up. He yeah. does. It's smoke yeah. a lot of weed. Ice Cube's wearing like a yeah. fake fro. Mm-hmm. I saw the beginning of it. Yeah. Ice Cube's in the one where they go to space? No. no. In the hood. Oh, my God. Keep up, Colin. It's when they're in the hood. Do you really think Ice Cube went to space? Come on. Uh, that would not surprise me. Wasn't. Uh, oh, my God. There's a lot Ice more Cube rhyming in, in the later ones, too. A like, in the Ice hood, he rhymes almost exclusively. Ice and part Cube four or... doesn't rhyme at all. Really? It's the only one he doesn't. Huh. Yeah. Wait, Ice-T doesn't rhyme. Oh, oh my God, Colin. I know, I get it. The fucking leprechaun starts uh, rhyming. Yeah. And it's Ice Cube? Okay. Mm-hmm. Not T. Wait, is it Wait, cube? is it cube Wait, or T? <laughs> it's Wait, T. No, no, Wait, no, I thought it was it's T. T. It's T. It's T. It is T. Yeah, it is T because the angry yelling. You're right. Well, I mean, T. they both do that, I guess. But yeah, I know oh, it is T. But it's T. I was going to say, Cube yeah. was probably just, a bigger star at that yeah, time. Than true. T. Yeah, it's true. T hadn't started Law and Order yet. Right, probably. he was still suffering through trespass <laughs> and judgment night. <laughs> yeah. You're talking about T? T. Yeah, where have you been? And Mean Guns. And Mean Guns. Mean Guns. guns. Don't forget right. Mean Guns. Yeah. yeah, if you can be a Mean Guns, you can be yeah. a Leprechaun in the Hood. Yes. Yes, yeah. you can. Uh, 
But you pretty much got it right when you were listing them off as in the city, in Vegas, <laughs> in space. Because part two, they're pretty much in a city. Uh, part three, they do go to Vegas, which is, uh, that's I mean, that's the better of the Oh, movies. and there's gold everywhere, I so mean, he's losing his shit. He, just, he loves it. What's the best Leprechaun movie? Three. Which is the, va- uh, the Vegas. Vegas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What yeah. makes it? What makes it? They're all awesome incredibly movie? cheap. Mm-hmm. Incredibly, incredibly cheap movies. Three just has like part two. The characters are dog shit. They're worthless. The dialogue is horrible. The actors are horrible. The situations are horrible. There's a few cool things where a dude gets um, uh, traps the leprechaun and then gets his wishes. But you know, when you make a wish from a like leprechaun, a they go bad. They go bad. It's like, yeah, I'll give you the wish, but there's gonna be a twist to it. So he like wishes for his pot of gold, and the pot of gold shows up in his stomach, uh, and he's like, I wish you to get rid of it. So he cuts it out of him. Uh, that was actually pretty cool. Yeah. Like a monkey's that's paw it. story. Huh? Yes, basically. Yeah, or a wish master. Am I right? Was that yeah. also a try mark? Was it? Was uh, it? I would bet. Or new, would it be new line? I don't remember. I don't know. One of those. We're not talking with authority on this. We do know no. this was the first theatrical Trimark movie. Indeed. Does that mean anything to anybody? I don't know. Trimark. I watched a lot of Trimark movies as a kid. Yeah, that logo. Yeah. I remember it. Yeah, they used to be Vidmark, the <laughs> video company, and then they went theatrical. I guess you could say that Tri- about any uh, logo from the 1990s. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> that was all of them. <laughs> it's very true. Yeah. But you all know what I'm talking about. The triangle with the fucking uh, yeah. Yeah, but the little cat lion on head yeah. or whatever. Yeah. on it. Uh, where did the Leprechaun movie come from? I mean, what was the genesis behind this? Why would you do in 1993? Because this was, I mean, if I'm thinking right at this time, uh, Jason is kind of on a hiatus, right? Mm-hmm. Or wait, no, Jason Goes to Hell was like 93 or something like that, right? So, but I mean, the the main Friday the 13th series is over. Freddy Krueger, uh, final chapter, or the final, final, fri- final, final nightmare was... Nightmare. No, that was ninety. That was ninety two, right? I thought 92? it was ninety two. Yeah. So Jason was a couple of years after that, right? Final Friday, maybe the following year. Candyman was ninety two. So there's Candyman in the works. So they're looking for new. Yeah, I'm like who else? Figures Chucky of horror is, at this Chucky's point. Chucky's still. There's still a couple of Chucky's coming out at this time. Yeah. Doctor Giggles, you remember him? Oh, Doctor Giggles. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking yep. Larry Drake. Yep. Yeah. There was uh, Brain Scan. Brain Remember scan. Brain Scan? That one didn't take I'm not off. Seen it, no. The Trickster? Yeah, it's not very good. No. <laughs> Somebody did an article on Blood Discussing recently. Horror monsters that never got sequels. And it sounds like you're la- naming most of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, because it was Wait, all Wait, did from you this write time. that article, Colin? Uh, I should have. Uh, <laughs> so, right, there it was. <laughs> horror movie monsters See? that never got sequels. Yeah. Pumpkinhead did get a sequel. He got a couple, mm-hmm. yeah. Blood wings. Um, yeah. So that was, I guess, where horror was at at this point in time, right? Yep. I mean, like, everybody says the 90s was like, I mean, it was the decade of Scream for the most part, mm-hmm. right? And the, sure. I know what you did last summers and that kind of, uh, you know, the CW <coughs> horror Yes. Yeah. Um, but there were these, like, uh, you know, I don't know if you'd call them necessarily all creature features, but there were, like, these low budget. So I remember there was, like, a Children of the Corn sequel. I'm came sure. to theaters back then too. I think it was Children of Corn Part Two. So they were they were only on Part Two at that, that point. Would, I think so. There was like a big gap between Part One and then Part Two, and then, uh, they all and then they just started. After that. Yeah, yeah. So somewhere in this mix, somebody gets the idea that hey, you know, I'm sitting there watching my TV shows on a Saturday morning, and there's this commercial for Lucky Charms. <laughs> and God damn it, wouldn't it be hilarious or awesome if we turned the Lucky Charms Leprechaun into a horror movie icon. Basically the idea, do, right? You mm-hmm. take like Friday the 13th. That's the thing. Well, let's turn that into a horror movie, bro. right? Nobody's yeah. ever had a killer leprechaun anywhere. Why don't we do that? And that's, I mean, that's as probably as big as basic as they got killer leprechaun. Let's go from mm-hmm. there. And so they made this. Apparently it was supposed to be, he wanted, it was originally started out as being like a more of a children's movie. And no jokes, no jokes about how this movie ended up, that it could still be a children's movie. But <laughs> but they decided to go, and I think this was after Warwick Davis uh, was hired on, that they decided to go for a more adult horror movie and apparently up the gore quotient. They did reshoots. Mm-hmm. Uh, they did. Yep. For a few yeah. things, not including the uh, Lucky Charms uh, yeah, reshoot. That's a that great they had story. To do. That is a really good mm-hmm. story. What's the story? So you, you remember the scene where he's searching through the, the kitchen pantry, and he's yeah. pulling out all the food and throwing it everywhere and he gets to what? Lucky Clovers? Yeah. So that was originally Lucky Charms and they shot it with Lucky Charms with uh, approval from the company. 
Company saw what they shot, didn't approve of it at all, and said, you can't do this anymore. Right. You can't use our product. No killer leprechauns no. associated with our product. No. So they, the filmmakers were like, either we lose the scene or we have to reshoot it. So they reshot that. And they, they didn't added, just cut that out. Like, what nope. was the point? It was of like that? a two second scene, too. They might yeah. as well yeah. just cut it out. They yeah. could have just cut it out. <laughs> it did nothing for the movie. No. But that is how we got our ending, or at least our ending line. Fuck you, Lucky Charms. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was added, added that after specifically. that. Specifically, uh, there's a little jab to Lucky wow. Charms at the end. That's kind of funny. Well, classy. Yeah. So that's, yeah. that's the level that we're at. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah. you. That's the, but you said that in, in, in laughing at it, but that's the level that they were on. They got yeah. Lucky Charms that say, yes, you yeah. can use this. I appreciate that level big. of pettiness. I think it's funny. Yeah, I like yeah. it. I, I mean, like the you, level you of petty to. that they achieved in this movie. Yeah, yeah but. you have to at that point. You're just like, come on, Lucky Charms. What, mm-hmm. what, do, you, what do you think you are? You think you're some big serial guy who just boss us around? <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. You're better than us? Yeah, you're, you're better, better than us. us. You're fucking marshmallow cereal, all well, right? it's not like he kills someone with a cereal. He eats it, and that's it. Like, he, he eats it for a second. He spits it out. Spits it spits it out. out. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. like... Yeah, with the Lucky I mean, Charms like, box, it, how cool would that have been? That would have been cool. No, but the bad guy spits out your cereal. I mean, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. yeah, he's the bad guy. He's not the not the kid hero of the movie. Yeah, you're not marketing the leprechauns, are you? <laughs> I still can't imagine this as a kids movie. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, even beforehand, I mean, what it was supposed to be until Warwick Davis apparently mm. then is you know giving it the. I thought maybe I read it wrong. I thought it was the other way. I thought it was going to be straight horror until Warwick Davis started playing the character. With a kind of a comedic bent. He did bring that element to it. And he, um, I think it says later he liked it so much. He, they brought up that element in later movies because he liked playing that stuff. Yeah. It gets really, you can tell as if this wasn't cheesy. (laughs) If you watch the later movies, it gets real cheesy. Mm -hmm. Like he runs into Elvis impersonators in Vegas Mm -hmm. and they're doing the whole, hey, (laughs) (laughs) all of that. Like it's, it gets bad. I appreciate that you suffered through all of these (laughs) in preparation. I mean, I wasn't going to, listener, I went and bought, the four pack of the first four of these films, and I was not just going to let them sit there because I felt I needed to revisit them. Yeah. <sighs> That's, I, well, you Shout out a good week. A, Dedica- oh. Dedication. It was like a good two days. Like, yeah, I, got from, I got through them quick. <laughs> this is not. I mean, I was just like, all right, let's get it over with. Like yeah. a band aid. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Shh, gone. Pull off the bandaid and walk away. Wow. So, yeah. But wow. this movie is. Uh, and notorious. we haven't even broached space. <laughs> there's space. Tell us about there's, space. A, there's a green lightsaber that he chops a dude in half with. <laughs> Perfect. Does he grow it out of like a ring or something? It comes out of a just... shillelagh, Colin. Oh, yes. <laughs> I said, what else it would it does. come out of? Of course it does. Oh, oh, four is oh, so. Oh, boy. Four is especially bad and cheap. Like the computer, the CGI in that movie. Oh, my God. Because they show there's space and spaceships. And a few other things, and it's it's bad. What do they use as the interior of the spaceship? Just like an empty soundstage? Just some hallways. Some, yeah. And they, there's, I mean, it's a Borrowed ripoff. from some other movie? Yeah, or like yeah definitely. I mean, it has to be. It's probably, you know, that shared set that space movies used. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, they rip off aliens in that movie. <laughs> um, the Fly, there's jokes about that in there. They, The leprechaun grows to a giant size and terrorizes the ship. There's a, a galaxy princess in that thing. <laughs> who says, sounds awesome. Who, who, I, who at one point shows her breasts during the movie and, of course, hypnotizes the men who are around. But then they're like, With her breasts? With her breasts. <laughs> Get the fuck out. Yes, and but that's not a good thing. Uh, apparently, in this galaxy, if a if this princess shows you her breasts, it means you are marked for death. Uh, by so, the leprechaun. I'm no, by, no, by the princess and oh, her oh, people. Oh, like, that's just a, that's a thing they do. Yeah, that's really. Oh, and the leprechaun um, <laughs> erupts out of a guy's penis in that movie. What now? <laughs> yes, the, you could be making all this up when yes. we wait up. No, uh, <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. I, I could be, but I am not that uh, creative. I don't think I'm more creative than that. But <laughs> they blow up the leprechaun early in the movie. One of the guys pees on it, and you see that green electricity zap up through him. Oh, and so then, like that? What's that? Freddy? What's that Nightmare on Elm Street movie where like the dog pees on? On him in the Dream junkyard, master. and he yeah. comes. Yeah, Dream Master, yeah. is that what it was? Yeah. Yeah. And so he gets an erection later, and the leprechaun pops out. And a painful uh, looking scene. Wow. Yeah. 
And that's sure it for wanna? the Saturday Night Freak Show. <laughs> you guys sure you don't want to? We can marathon this right now. Like it goes, no, no, no. You, it goes quicker than you think. I appreciate that you did the heavy lifting here, Sean. I did. Now um, we can just ask you all sorts of questions sure. about, about these movies. I did not watch uh, In the Hood or Back to the Hood. I have not gotten that far yet. Man, I'm disappointed. Uh, I know. Uh, also, and uh, I was in doing research for this. I came across a very <laughs> <Sorry>. intriguing. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I mean, uh, I did I looked, research by, re- by watching re- four of these re- movies in a re- row. Research. That is something. I looked at what other people said about the movies. That's the <laughs> research. There was a theory online that says that the leprechaun in these movies is not the same leprechaun. That these that the leprechauns in general, this is what they look like. This is how they interact oh, with people. Okay. Because he does die at the end of each movie or at the end of the four movies, uh, he gets blown up and he's dead, and that's it. So they all Wait. Just look the same and right. Okay, look the same, act the same. So you're telling me the people that enjoy these movies have thought about it enough to develop a fan theory yes, about there them? There's a fan theory oh that God. they are all separate leprechauns. <laughs> and it's looking, not Westworld, guys. Uh, uh, <laughs> but in looking at it, like there's no. There's no evidence to show that that theory is wrong. There's also no evidence to show that it's right. It. Two leprechauns in the same frame together. Are there, yeah. are there differentiations between the leprechaun, like his look? Just a little bit in the clothing, but that's okay. it. Like a okay. different undershirt, and that's all. Yeah. His fingernails are different colors than some of them, too, but that's... Okay, who even knows like why the makeup be. effects? Makeup effects is pretty much the same. Solid? Yeah, okay. solid, the same, all throughout. Um, there is something in part three. The beginning of part three starts where some random dude brings in uh, the leprechaun uh, as he's, he looks like a statue at this point. And he's got a medallion around his neck, like the medallion turned him into a statue. Like Mannequin. <laughs> this movie Mannequin. That's yes. what happens in Mannequin. That is what happens. That's how they turn into what a mannequin. mannequin. You put the medallion out? around their neck. That's exactly what happened to him. So that's how he's brought into part three. Wow. Is this and a shared universe with Mannequin? I. I mean, where's that crossover? Same magic, movie? right? Did Andrew McCarthy show up? <laughs> no, but uh, oh, if I, it been, the joke would have been better if I'd remembered her name. Kim Cattrall. Kim Cattrall. Yeah. Kim Cattrall had showed up. That would have been great. But he does have the medallion around his neck, and that does make a reappearance in the first uh, in the hood. Whoa! That's how they find him with the medallion around his neck in the. Oh, statue so he's form. the same guy. Then. Uh, well, he. I mean, but he gets blown up and dies at the oh, end of okay. three. In Vegas. Uh, all right. We're but this movie. Yeah, uh, it's right. <laughs> now that I barrage you with the, well, this movie's Leprechaun. also famous for launching another career. Ah, right? indeed. Mm-hmm. Did it launch it? I mean, did this get her like <laughs> it was a sputtering her? start? Sure. Look at how prominent she is on the poster. That is a yeah. late release poster. Yeah, that is, la- that is oh. later okay. on. She doesn't even wear that shirt in the movie, and she's much older. Here. Yeah. Who the is, fuck are we I, talking about? Jennifer, Jennifer Aniston. Aniston. I think that's actually a promo shot from Friends. Yeah, it's gotta be. The I original poster was just him She's poking out She's literally looking the, at Ross, yeah. and they just cut him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this is the Jennifer Aniston's famous. Oh, we can put her on the front now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, she doesn't have anything in her contract that says we can't do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you think, based on what you saw in this movie, that she would have a career after this movie? It wasn't particularly terrible, but it wasn't right. remarkable either. It's the you best know, you can do whatever. for a killer leprechaun movie. Yeah. I would say. yeah. She, she was, got some she tears was trying. going on. She was, she was a rich bitch. She did yeah. it. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, yeah, I think she did a fine mm-hmm. for what it was. Yeah, I think she had presence. I mean, there's, uh, well, I mean, aside from the fact that she wears a nice pair of shorts and through the entire movie, I appreciate And a really it. nice pair of L.A. gears. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, it's a very 90s movie. Yeah, movie. yeah this movie can say, be more time stamped, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they even say this is the 90s, okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Women, oh, yeah, yeah. Women can do things. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Because yeah. it's the 90s. Because it's the 90s. It's nice. Yeah. Sometimes I still almost say that. <laughs> Look, this is the 90s, all right? I can do this. <laughs> well, the magical years when he would have... I, what were the prints on those shirts and her... Uh, she I had mean, patches all she over. She had patches yeah. on her shorts, which, yep. was, a which was a thing. Yeah, I, I had, had patches it. on my yep, jeans. Same here. I yeah. imagine yep. you having the painter shirt for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, no, oh. no, <laughs> no. I think in the 90s I was going the other way where it was just like all t-shirts all the time. All, I don't think I've black. gotten away from that. No, I think that's had different not really colors a stretch from you then. now. The t-shirts, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> t-shirts and jeans. That's really all you need. I don't mm-hmm. get why. Okay, uh, so <laughs> Colin's yeah. still discovering himself. <laughs> yeah. So Jennifer Aniston's in this movie. This yes. is prior to Friends, and then so now she's embarrassed of this film. Apparently, uh, wow. she does exhibit some amount of charisma. It seems like as a, as an actress, yeah. mm-hmm. but her character. Is she the lead character in this movie? I know she's 
prominently featured on the video box art, or box art cover. There it is again. There yeah, it is. No, damn it. There the it box is. box art. The promotional the materials, post, yeah. Post theatrical promotional materials. There we go. <laughs> I was getting all technical. Video box is easier, isn't it? Yeah, it yeah. is. <laughs> you know what I meant. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Um, but I'm yeah. a video container. <laughs> is she the main character in this film? I mean, Warwick Davis is the main character um, in this film. Is he? You said he was the main character in the sequels. Well, I mean, he is. He's a, has a bigger role in the sequels, but it doesn't not make him the main character in this movie. I think she's the main character. I think she is. But yeah, yeah. she's yeah. the main yeah. character. Yeah. yeah. Tell else me kinda... what her character arc is. No one has an arc in this movie. No Tr- the... Trick question. No one has an arc. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't. Be. <laughs> Damn it. She, her right. character at the beginning is just this rich girl who's completely, her father, who only looks like he's like 10 years older than her. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, prematurely painted. White gray, out his I'm beard. Sure. Yeah. yeah, and in his hair, he had like a little <laughs> bit of silver. Mm-hmm. In like these, yeah. Oh yeah, always on the sides. That's yeah. always where so you go gray first. <laughs> yeah, because when they first showed up, seriously, I thought this was like a dude and his girlfriend. Me too. I yeah. was really because he kept calling her honey too. So yeah. I was like, okay, so they're in a relationship. Yeah. Nope. And then it was a like creepy one, but yes. <laughs> okay, dad, and it's like, whoa, wait a second, am I? What's happening here? So they move uh, to. Either uh, New Mexico or South Dakota. We're not We're entirely not sure. sure because neither are they. <laughs> oh, yeah. We get that great line from Jennifer Aniston. Uh, something about hating New Mexico. And her dad says, it's North Dakota, which <laughs> it's not opposite ends of the country. I don't get the line. Top and like, bottom of the country. Funny. No. no. To no. think you're, it just makes you look like a moron. Is it just to like point out that she's like flippant and doesn't give a shit about anyone I mean, but herself? I, so. I think yeah. so. I think I'm thinking too much about this. They didn't think this much well, about it. So. I mean, but that bears out. She is, I mean, both possibly <laughs> she is a moron because she's, you know, like, uh, I don't know. Some, it's the idea of transplanting the city girl into the country yeah. where she's going to meet the, uh, the country guy who tolerates her like obliviousness to life yeah. and has to like, you know, help her see like, this is, you know, the, the, whatever. This is how the world yeah. works. Yeah. When you go to the diner here, they don't have your frou-frou, uh, they don't have your heavy on. And, yeah. You have to eat the meatloaf and the, yeah, you know. for some reason he finds it endearing that he has to acclimate her. I don't know why. I don't, I don't think he runs into many he's women. He's a country guy. Yeah. He's <laughs> out in North Dakota. Yeah. They don't get them city girls out there. Yeah. He gets the civilizer. <laughs> Fun. You saw the people in that town <laughs> diner. So this kind of has no, like, dude, that waitress was wearing a guest jean skirt. So <laughs> oh, I don't right. want to hear well, it. <laughs> well, Apparently, is there the, is a mall out there. Then Jennifer right, Aniston was yeah, concerned yeah, yeah. about that. She was very concerned yep. that there was no malls out there. Yeah, yeah. It has the makings of like the son-in-law or Doc Hollywood or something. Oh, I love <laughs> son-in-law. I'm just gonna keep on I throwing some son-in-law. '90s bombs. Yeah, in there if I say the '90s word, it's Polly Shore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They laughed. Ah, back in. It's kind of like the uh, Walker Texas Ranger lever. No, nope, you know, Bravo. Oh, no, no, I got you on that one. That's funny. <laughs> so yeah, you just keep pulling it. Keep we'll pulling just, it. Yeah, yeah. Just um, keep popping up. So it's great. Trust us. Sorry, we'll have to pull that up later. Yeah. Um, yeah so I. I get that that's where the setup is. It's mm-hmm. like that somehow she's going to find love here in the country, realize that, uh, you know, she's overlooked a bunch of stuff and, you know. Right. It's not so bad out here. Yeah. Basically. Right? She's going to come to love the place. Like, this all goes right out the fucking window. I don't even know if, like, that was intentionally set up. Would you say that by the end of the movie, any of this is, I mean, like, what, how did, the only thing that I could see that she changed is that she went from being helpless? self-centered and helpless mm. to like running around with a shotgun? Because if you put a shotgun in your hands, you become empowered. That's what the movie is saying. There you go. Yeah. Because yeah. she hands he hands her a shotgun because at some point he gets disabled by right. the leprechaun. Hands her a shotgun. It's like, have you ever used one of those before? And she's like, <laughs> no. <laughs> but we have every confidence that she's going to save the day for the rest of the movie. Oh yeah. Okay, so that's just the heroine. Yeah. We know the motivation of the leprechaun is he wants his goddamn gold back. Because yes, what happened? Is. It was stolen, stolen from him in Ireland by Patty O'Rourke. Oh, boy. Oh. You're Irish. You no, get to say it. No. That's fine. <laughs> just don't put the accent on it. Uh, uh, Seamus uh, O'Grady. Oh my. Dan O'Grady. <laughs> Dan O'Grady. There, there it you is. There you go. <laughs> we'll it's get, not we'll, as... We'll get there. Uh, we'll get there. <laughs> all right. So, uh, yeah, this is a guy who somehow conned the leprechaun, got the gold. Because this is what you do with the leprechaun. Yeah. You got to find their gold at the end of the rainbow and steal it from them. He does. 
brings it back to America. Mm-hmm. The leprechaun follows and kills him and his wife. Wait, killed him? Killed the wife. Killed the wife. Yeah, he she had a stroke. We thought it was a heart attack. He's dead. Because then it's like 10 years later, right. and Jennifer Aniston and her dad's moving into his musty old cobwebby right. house. This is yeah. after that he dude's had trapped. still alive. How shitty is that? That like they're just moving in on his house. Right. Still alive I mean, in the he's in, he's rest home. A, he had a stroke. He's in the rest home. He can't pay for his mortgage or anything. So <laughs> the bank took that shit. That's yeah. why he got such a good deal on it. With all his shit still in it. That's what, what, <laughs> that's what you can do. You can't Including afford. the leprechaun he had boxed up in the basement. <laughs> He, he didn't have any That's money. How it yeah. works, yeah. He, he was. They were poor. He, he got the gold. That was going to be his way out. But then, you know, he's got no money to move his shit out. That's yeah. it. After a leprechaun kills your wife, you're kind of in a okay, pickle. That's it. That's at that done. Point. Yeah. Oh, better, better story would have been he got framed for murdering his wife and pushing her down the stairs. And then he goes to jail. What What the fuck? <laughs> Why wasn't that in this movie? That would have been better. Yeah. yeah. And then she's got to go visit jail to figure out what happened. No yeah. one believes yeah. me. Yeah. Oh, and then we get a great scene of Jennifer Anderson going to jail and like talking to him on the phone through the glass about, <laughs> oh, no. you know, how do you, yeah. how do you kill the leprechaun? You know, these calls are recorded, right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Just the uh, yeah. Just go yeah. straight drama. Yeah. 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 Uh, and then the leprechaun's dressed as a security guard. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. It would happen. <laughs> I know it would happen. 90s. And then you, you, know get a, you get a tiny, amazing little arrested development callback of someone just saying, no touching in the background. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> let's write it, guys. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, leprechaun, the remake. Yeah. I mean, leprechaun they did Origins that. too. Yeah, yeah Leprechaun know. Origins, which I don't think they had a leprechaun in that movie. I'm pretty sure it's a beast. Like, it's a long uh, beast. Hornswoggle plays a beast. I don't so think right. he does. Am I just saying a word, or do you know? Uh, <laughs> Hornswoggle. Yeah, yeah, he was okay. a wrestler. It's a WWE production. Was the remake okay. of Leprechaun. Yeah. So Hornswoggle's in it because he plays a fucking leprechaun, on, or he did on the show on mm-hmm. wrestling. Uh, but I don't. I mean, again, I haven't seen the movie, and I don't know what part he plays. But it's a CGI monster in that movie. Mm-hmm. I don't know if there's an actual leprechaun in that at any point. Mm. I'm not going to watch it to find out. All right. I might one day. You've made that clear. I mean, if it's on Netflix, I'll probably check it out. <laughs> I like a man who holds his ground. Yeah, I just I'm, I'll stick with my insecurity. Yeah. I stick with my insecurity. You draw the line and you're I like, am this, hard in my insecurity, okay? Line. Yeah. In my indecision, I should say. Right. Uh, okay, so the other characters that we have in this film, aside from uh, Dear Old Dad, are the three guys that paint. Yes. Yeah. That's the name of their business. Yeah. Are we sure that it's not three guys who paint? It's that yeah. paint. That paint. Yeah. Okay. As no, I mean, grammatically I is, incorrect as that might be. Yeah. Right. Okay. right. But th- that's probably because the simple-minded guy, the yes. group, probably came up with it and made the sign. There's a simple Because it looked like fucking finger paint on the side of that yes. truck. <laughs> it looks like what was the FHE logo? Uh, oh yeah. 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 Family Home Entertainment. Yeah. That's what kind yeah. of what it looks like. Yeah. That's what uh, it reminds uh, me of. Nineties. Uh, <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Again, there it is. That, that was the logo. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I got a great idea for a logo. All right, that's great. But what does it sound like? <laughs> yep. Brilliant. Damn it, Preskin, so, you're a genius. And it's so loud it'll blow your fucking speakers out when you <laughs> yeah, hear it. Exactly. It's like, why is that the loudest thing on the tape? Yeah. <laughs> but oh, there's a simpleton, there's a there's a kid, and a Joey Lawrence stand-in. Apparently. <laughs> yes. That's what it feels yeah. like. Yeah. Okay, Joey the Joey Lawrence stand-in we're saying is the potential love a- interest for the Jennifer Aniston character. She yes. fawns all over him. Yes, Nathan. after they bump into each other. Right. In broad uh, daylight. The simpleton is... Uh, Chubbs from Teen Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. He yeah. is Chubbs from Teen Wolf. <laughs> Not like Chubbs from Teen Wolf. No, he's he actually is the guy. that from guy. Teen Wolf. This, oh, he's, he's also Stillwell Angel. Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. grown up Stillwell Angel. He's grown up yeah. Stillwell Angel. Yeah, he is. From League, League of the Wrong. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah the yeah. 90s. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, okay, so he's basically playing Charlie from... Uh, Flowers for Algernon. Basically. basically. Or is he playing Lenny, Lenny from, from, from Lenny. Of Mice and Men. From yeah. Yeah. Men. With the kid. But he wants to be Charlie from Flowers for Algernon because they talk about using the gold to get him a surgery right. to make him smarter. Yeah. Full Which is circle. Like, what yeah. the yeah. fuck yeah. are you talking about? There's even a rat at some point in this movie. Yeah. 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 So there oh we go. Yeah. Guys, we're, we're digging deep we're, in this. Uh, we're making a connecting <laughs> yeah. dots and everything yeah. in this we're movie. Gonna use fi- we're going to use film criticism on this movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Really like it's a tool. Did you bring your film criticism? I left mine at home. <laughs> like I don't, I didn't, I don't have it today. Yeah. Do yeah. you guys think this movie is secretly like a metaphor for gentrification? Like the rich city people move into the country where mm. the poor simple folk live. <laughs> so we right, can really, I'm going to write an academic thesis the on this movie. Poor simple folk don't want them there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. like, no. but it goes yeah. the other way around, right? Yeah. The, yeah, cause the, they chase them out. Well, the people who actually know what are, is going on are mm. the poor simple folk, right? Mm-hmm. And then. Mm. 
I don't know that, or you have like this it's old world money. kind of menace yeah. where it's like yeah. the the money from the old right. world is yeah. coming and like they're coming to get it back or something, or it's ill gotten. Or the the, the, the rich people money. come in, or and the reason they're coming is to steal the old. They're like there's mm-hmm. old money in the mm-hmm. in the culture in there, and they're I, taking it from. I just them. don't think it it goes that deep. <laughs> no, <laughs> we're taking we're this, know, re- this is the rewrite. Yeah, this, yeah. Is yeah. Right. this is the subtext that is maybe not entirely intentional. Yeah, this could be my pitch for bloody disgusting. Hey guys. You, you want to hear all about the gentrification in Leprechaun? <laughs> right? That'll get you some clicks. <laughs> oh, I need to come up with a clickbaity headline for that, though. <laughs> yeah. We kick all these old people out, but then these leprechauns keep eating our crew. Um, <laughs> leprechaun so filmmakers funny. hate Native Americans? <laughs> <laughs> Click to find out. <laughs> we have a slideshow that tells you everything. Oh, it's 15 fantastic. pages later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See? That's great. There you go. great. Oh, we could do this. Oh. Oh. Whoa. You need to be taking notes and writing. I mean, yeah. I suppose oh, we're we recording. Have, we're course. Right, we're yeah. doing some great sure. homework yeah. tonight, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, this kid, tell me about this kid then. Ah, the kid. Alex. Oh, I wasn't even didn't even know his name. Yeah, uh, the kid Alex you may recognize from such films as he was in. Uh, don't tell mom the baby. Don't tell dead. mom the baby is dead. Rookie of the year. Um, uh, Forever young. You know the kid. Uh, as if Van High Garman. <laughs> oh him. <laughs> Shit yeah. Uh, he was at my wedding. Uh, nope, don't remember his name. So, okay, so you know him if you saw him. Yeah. Not anymore. He grew up to be quite handsome. Yeah, I saw you two yeah. uh, googling his picture. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. looks. Um, I was worried it was going to be a Macaulay Culkin situation, but it's not that Robert at all. Robert High Gorman. Robert High Gorman. Yes, yeah. that's it. Look him up. Hi. Hi. H Y. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Robert High Gorman. It looks like well, I was going to say like an accountant or something. Yeah, he does. Like he could be an accountant nowadays but or a, a bro, yeah, but an attractive one. Yeah. So oh, his character <laughs> as child. the uh, as the youngest of the three guys that paint. Mm. Um, I mean, basically, he's playing against type for a child. Or no, this is this the the what do you call it? He's like the sassy sidekick. Is that wrong? Yeah, basically, no, he's, he's but he's the sidekick to the simpleton. Yeah. But, but at the same time, like, he's the brains of the operation. Yeah. Like, yeah. If yeah. you need your car fixed, the kid's the one who's going to go. Right. And he's always been, he's always put in the position of like, you have to save the day. What I the- have constructed a backstory. Oh, would you like to hear it? <laughs> Does this span multiple movies? Yeah. No, no, okay. it's just very short between them. Um, the older brother had to, uh, the parents had died, and so the older brother had to raise uh, his younger brother, and so they became very uh, 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 world weary, and they know how to do the things, you know, because they gotta be scrappy and keep it together, and use what they have to get through life together, and all that. So the kid knows how to do things. Like the the brother had a business fixing stuff, and then he joined later, and so he like knows how to do this. Like when he pops the hood and fix the car, <laughs> yeah. and it was jiggle but, the cable. Yeah, yeah, but he knows to jiggle the cable. That's right. Sure. He knows where the <laughs> shotgun is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And the leprechaun killed their parents. That's why they had to learn <gasps> to be so so self reliant. Did he get the <laughs> F bomb in the movie? The movie's F bomb? Yep. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, okay. Yep, he did. Yep. I feel like there's a couple. They're kind of mumbled a little bit. He was the fuck you lucky But he was the yeah. lucky charm. Jennifer Aniston has a fuck. Yeah, there's a fuck in there. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. I think there's one more earlier in the movie, but okay. I don't know. There's a couple of them in there. So, what is low rent Joey, Joey Lawrence's role in this? Business then, because the kid seems like he does most of the heavy lifting. Well, I'm sure he does the paperwork and the money and all that <laughs> money. stuff. Yeah. And drives and the negotiating. Truck. Yeah. yeah, and drives. <laughs> I'm sure that's his job. Yeah. Wearing yeah. the tank tops. Yeah. yeah. Right, walking around being drunk. Yeah. Can't have sleeves. No, no sleeves. It's sleeves. the 90s. It gets in the way right. of your right. painting. Right. It's true. Yeah. That's Meanwhile, the simpleton has a shirt that literally is covered in paint brushes. Uh, yeah, but yes. yeah, and, and some paint. I mean, like the worst blue and red. What the hell are they doing painting this house? The outs exterior horrible people painting it like this, not bright blue, like an American flag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. or like yeah. clown yeah. paint. Like it is. clown, yeah. Yeah. like clown yeah. paint. Yeah. Like the eyes would be blue and the mouth yeah. would be red, and that's what they're painting. Like this John house. Wayne Gacy yeah. makeup. It, yeah. is. it is. It's John Wayne Gacy it colored makeup. Yeah. <laughs> it's horrifying. <laughs> yeah, I'd fire them. Yeah. yeah Thank really God I mean neighbors to look at that goddamn yeah. house. What are you guys, a bunch of civil... T- oh, yeah. I, I guess one of you is. Uh, sorry, didn't mean Ow, that. You're a child, the other two though, okay. of you. You should know better. Yeah. yeah. It's bad. But they end up letting this leprechaun go out of the crate. Oh, they do, yes. He crashes out of the crate. And then, yeah, I mean, the rest of the movie, I mean, so this is then a series of sequences in which uh, the leprechaun is trying to get his gold back because old man O'Grady hit it somewhere. Yes. 
The simpleton discovers this is in the uh, the the old rusted up pickup truck. Mm-hmm. But there's so there's a key thing that happens here because I think mm-hmm. like you know basically the I don't know how well this conforms to Irish folklore. <clears throat> There's Probably, a you exactly. don't? Shouldn't Probably you know? Exactly. I know, right? <laughs> I'm failing tonight. Failing badly. <clears throat> so there's a hundred pieces of gold yes. in the bag. Yes. One of the pieces of gold, where's the first fucking piece go? I mean, well, I, the simpleton eats one of them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Because he's trying to make sure it's real and not chocolate. Because that's what you do, right? You bite right, you on bite the it. thing, but he, of course, he swallows, swallows it. Yeah. <clears throat> Pardon me. So... Where'd the other one go? Because the, the other one, the shop oh, owner. Yep. The shop All owner right. Had, yeah. They want to find out if this gold is rare and how much, how much it's, it's worth. worth. Yeah. Yes. And so the leprechaun, of course, tracks that guy down. And he follows them there. <laughs> yeah. How do you follow the place? On a tricycle. Oh yeah. This is only the first of a couple of awesome modes of transportation. <laughs> yeah. that That's very true. Yeah. In this movie, you got to go. You start with the tricycle, which he pedals the whole way there, yeah. and it's got the little ching ching on yeah. it. Yeah. Because you got to let people know that you're coming. Yeah. Ching, kills that dude, and in that shop with a, it's a pawn How does shop. it kill him, Colin? That's 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 that's, that's a great yeah. scene. Let's gloss over this with a pogo stick. With yeah. a pogo, pogo stick, pogos him to death. And he, uh, there's a rhyme as well. Yeah, he that's... played knick knack on his lung. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it was. It did rhyme. It rhymed it with rhymed. lung. So, this yeah, I can't this remember. old I lep, know. he played one. He played knick knack on his lung. I'm pretty okay, sure. Okay, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, let's go. Uh, all right, that's what. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. <coughs> Spot on. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Um. You never then he upgrades to the miniature uh, oh, yes. car. It, yes. Yeah. It appears to be a pedal car, but a, a, evidently it has an engine and, and goes about sixty miles an hour. Yep. Yeah, because he goes on the highway with it. He, he gets pulled, pulled over by a cop. So that's where he killed the Which, cop. Which, did you notice he stole stuff from the shop? He stole, like, he did. stuffed the pogo animals, stick. toys. It was, like, yeah. stuffed the bear. animals and shit. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he did. He's got to take him back to his lair. Wait, does he have a lair? No. No. The no. well? Not, not in the well? This one. It used to be the crate. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. True. There's so, layers in Ireland. Uh, okay, so he followed them there, so that's how he knows that that guy's got the gold piece. He eventually extorts from the rest of them, where is the bag of gold? Yes. And then, because then it was like, okay, does he like know? He doesn't know where this gold is. That's no, why he's he going have like after a, random a sense people. to it. Like yeah. he can't sense when it's in there. Kind of like it's gonna be like, real why, close. Why is he wasting time like trying to kill all these other people when well, he just can look just for be, it? Right. Just look for the fucking gold. How does does he? How do we know? How does he know that they have it? Does Does he ever put that together? Well, he or is knows, he just because they're there? He's like, you've got me gold. He knows they have one piece of it, so clearly they've seen it because. They take it to the shop. Oh, right, right, right. Because yeah. they took it to the shop, yeah. yeah. So he does know that. Okay. And so he's getting it from the rest of the Yeah. Camera. All right. Vehicles, though. Moves from the car. <laughs> little I car. Mean, What's the next car. thing, Simon? The uh, tractor with the pitchfork on the front. Oh, yeah. He's got, yeah. It's, it's <coughs> tra- he's got a little tractor. Homemade That is car. able to flip a, little, a truck. A little battering ram. Well, he's I also mean, magic. Yeah. There you go. But okay, his magic, <laughs> there are no like sort of precedent set for what his magic does, how powerful it is, and how it comes about. We see it open a door at the beginning and He's then got a like green ray that Yeah. Comes out his we see it open a door and then <laughs> what? Like something else like comes into his hand later on and then that's like, and then he flips a car but like we weren't uh, he, he plays peekaboo in the trees. Oh, with that's the cop. right. Yep. Yeah. But like there's no Magic standards people. or no. boundaries for his magic, Which and I think the filmmakers com- played to their advantage. I think they, they made it up as they went along, like, is what I what think. What can a leprechaun do? Like, they won't I mean, know. anything. Yeah, <laughs> he can do anything. They're not. There's no limitations. If he has, he has magic, but he doesn't use it that often. He can change his voice. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. That's right. yeah he, he does yeah. change his voice. His magic becomes more elaborate later on in the movies. He creates people. Oh, sexy people. They're gonna say tidal waves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, he tidal waves sure. to take out cities. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's pretty powerful. No, no, a robot. Is That's as far as it's is a robot. There a tsunami in the later leprechaun. <laughs> I mean, yeah. that'd be pretty great. There is a killer robot though. There was a killer robot. What the hell, seconds. Sean? She was a naked lady, and then she turned into a robot. Of course. Uh, there's, uh, I mean, that's about as big as it gets. He does create a NASCAR at one point, a little race car for himself. That seems to be a big thing for him. Yes. Yeah. How does he get around? Oh, he's in a wheelchair at some point. He oh, chases yeah. Jennifer Aniston for like five minutes through a hospital. And it's not efficient because he's way behind her and cannot yeah. keep up with yeah. her in and the wheelchair. And he can just transport, apparently. Yeah. 
Like, yeah. that's a thing he can do. Yeah. yeah. But he just likes the fun of it, I think. Yeah, we also see him yeah. rollerblade. Oh, oh shit. He's yeah. roller skating. Through a fucking fence, and it does, like, the Looney Tunes, like, <laughs> cut out when he goes through the fence. Wait, in this right. movie? Yeah. yeah. When did that happen? He's holding on to the back of the before truck he, when be- she's... Yeah. When she's going to see... When Dan he's pulling a Michael Bannon, J. Fox in uh, Back to the Future, but on roller skates on her truck. I'm, yeah. Totally missed yeah, the whole he slammed into the white like, second fence yeah, and, and just, left a hole like, in seriously? the shape of him. Yes. Yeah, we, you miss that? We were I don't all, know. We were, all, we were looking we at the kid. <laughs> yeah. You were looking up the picture of the good looking kid. Is what you as, an adult, as, as an adult. As an adult. As an adult. As an adult. He's yeah. older than yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah, you. No. Older than I am. That's like, oh, that's what I heard. Oh, look at him. It's like, oh, yes, that's what I Yeah, okay. Yeah, we were all audibly disgusted by that scene. Like, we were like, oh, God, because it was so Yeah, I missed it. That's my bad. It was horrible. It went on for too long. In the, in the entire movie. Yeah. Full of shit. Yeah. yeah. And then that was right before the wheelchair chase scene through mm-hmm. the old folks. I home, saw that. You know, where yeah. everybody's dead in the old folks' home except for the sleeping guard. Yeah. Right? Yeah, there's, no else else there. dead, right? there's nobody else yeah. there. There's nobody else there. No, yeah. He's That's... killed them all. Because I mean, he's taking the place of old man O'Grady. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How he got there before her. On Again, he's magic. teleport. Yeah. Okay. He can teleport. teleport. Um, going. Yeah. And then <laughs> somehow they to pick get, up the thread. Yeah, then they go back to the house. Right? Well, she well, goes. Okay. I guess you know. So yeah. they're they're terrorized. Okay, <clears throat> the reason I think Colin is having a problem with this is because they get terrorized in and around the house for a while, and it kind of becomes, I guess, a little repetitive. It's yeah, just a little. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Exactly. There's bear traps. There's a multiple shots fired. <laughs> he gets killed. He gets his eyeball taken out. He takes somebody else's eyeball and puts right. it in. And says he an eye around. for an eye. Yeah. 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 He does it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's all very cheap. Like, yeah, none of us enjoyed that. That was that was fun for no one. Were there any no. good lines that he came up? I get that he was trying to yes. be like a cheeky little monster. I but... liked when he was walking past him in the bar and he's like, How's your leg? And he <laughs> slams his leg. That was funny. I'm sorry it was. It worked for That's me. That's not exactly like challenging writing though. No, for it's a not. Movie. No, sometimes like, the old no, stand by yeah. works. No, but for this movie, yeah. that was what worked. Yeah. That was funny. Mm. I, I didn't expect that. <laughs> I thought Jennifer Aniston had the best line when she said, I know what it feels like when a man caresses my leg. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the dad's like, you do? Yeah. <laughs> that was yeah. confusing for everybody. Yeah. yeah. It's like, uh, yeah, because Lothario says you you were okay with that. Dad's like, you do know you what that is? Yeah. And we're sitting there going like, wait, what the fuck? Is she Because he's like, it, it was a cat. Yeah. It was like clearly the leprechaun. And yeah. Little, yeah. Yeah. A cat yeah. doesn't caress legs. Yeah. Yeah. I know what uh, it feels like when a man crosses my leg. Yeah, well, it's okay. Uh, no, I don't think any really great lines. No. Mm-hmm. Fuck you, Lucky Charms is probably the best line. Yeah. Is I mean, it? It feels out of tone with the rest of the movie, though. It feels very pointed, which, I mean, it yeah, was. they were trying to make a point, yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe everything else just didn't rise to the level of fuck you, Lucky Charms. Well, how do you kill a leprechaun? This Poor is the clover, question that. What? That's a Poor the clover. You just gotta dig around the grass like till you find the, one. In it the almost, mythology, that's it what we're going almost felt back like to? that would be on his side. Yeah, right. like, that's what that I would, thought that too. Would just it didn't be make any sense. For him. Yeah, I'm not up on Irish folklore very much, but I feel like. <laughs> I don't think you have to be, but. I feel like th- that was incorporated into his. His forte it was the forte. They like live not underneath like his, them or something, or like they live in a shoe or something, or something like that. Yeah. Right. Oh, he's got his shoe kind of... fetish in his. Oh, oh his shoe oh, fetish. The shoe yeah. thing, right? Because he's a, uh-huh. he makes shoes by trade, is what he says earlier. In but the if movie. he sees a pair of shoes, he literally cannot resist polishing them, even yeah. as Holly pointed out when they're fucking suede. Suede. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, He tried yeah, to, yeah. and then he said, "So shiny." After he polished it, no, it's suede. It's not fucking shiny. Not shiny. Well, this is wrong. Like they're taking that. This is like the vampire legend, right? Of like the European vampire thing where like they have uh, this is where like the Hollywood vampire is better than the actual mythological (laughs) vampire. Uh, Actual vampires have OCD. And if you throw like two pieces of string in front of them, they have to stop. And tie, and or I think if you throw a knot in front of them, they have to untie it. Really? Like, that's an actual thing. Like, huh. that's how you yeah. buy time, is you throw knots in front of vampires, and they're like, ah, shit, now I gotta fucking untangle this knot, and they were doing that with the yeah, shoes yeah. in this yeah. movie, where they bring a box of shoes out, and they're just throwing it at him, so Jennifer Aniston has time to get in the Jeep and escape. I yeah. remember, the, there was, I remember, there was something I was watching that has that same kind of it, lore it where... A, the, on an X-Files episode. Is that X-Files? Yeah. <laughs> there, was, there was something else that it's like, um, little, little, like, Dwarfs or something that if you drop sugar in front of them, they have to count oh. the grains of sugar. Oh, uh-huh. yeah. yeah. This is like oh, a thing. It's like a European folklore. Yeah. 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 It's a whole thing. 
Mm-hmm. I don't know what that is. LCD? I don't know. Yeah, it's strange. That's it always it at least buys you, the hero, some time to get away from the yeah. marauding, rampaging beastie. Pretty sure it was an episode of Supernatural. I'm not going to lie. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a good thing we watch all these shows. Otherwise, where would we be? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, yeah, so eventually they do uh, use the power of the four leaf clover to contain the, the leprechaun. It's an amusing scene early on when, because uh, O'Grady, old man O'Grady, yeah. he's got one and brandishes it like a crucifix to the leprechaun. It was like, no, yeah. no, get it away. And I'm like, oh, fuck, it's a yeah. little tiny. Flip, flip. <laughs> and then they have to go dig one up, you know, in order to. And right. so the way, method of uh, dispatching him is. Uh, like making a spit wad, basically. He takes out, out his gum, yeah. 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 And wraps the, uh, and wraps puts the fun of the around. And puts it in his slingshot he's always carrying around. And Fuck you, Lucky fuck Charms. Fuck you, Lucky Charms. Yeah. 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 I would love a t-shirt with the leprechaun from Lucky Charms yeah. on it that says, Fuck you, Lucky Charms, underneath. That has to exist somewhere. Yeah. That line's getting a lot of play on this show. I mean, it's, uh, the, I like, it's I mean there's the best not any other great lines. Yeah, there's so. nothing else. Yeah, to really no. be memorable. Yeah. I remember everything about this. Cause, like, when just before we... Uh, we notice that they start speeding up his footage because they want to make him go faster. Because let's face it, he's small; and he's not going very quickly. Right. Like I was, I was waiting for it too. I was like, and cue the speeding up. I knew where it was going to come. <laughs> Still remember this movie. Uh, uh, from Even, the previous times you've seen it. Yeah, I watched this. Waiting for the oh, the, this is the cue. Oh, no, I knew when it was coming up, but I watched this a lot when I was younger. Yeah. I'm pretty sure my tape even looked better than this, uh, the movie we watched tonight, too, because this was, didn't look good. Mm. I don't know if the Blu-ray makes it look better. Or it's just There's a, a Blu-ray? Mm-hmm. There's a Blu-ray There's collection a Blu-ray. of all the movies. What the Even hell? Origins. Get the... Yep. Really? Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. So this is like a thing, this leprechaun. Well, I mean, he's obviously, because there's, you know, whatever, six, seven movies. Yeah. He's a thing. I mean, the makeup is one of those things that you remember because, I mean, I've seen, you know, obviously, that design and Warwick Davis as the creature. It's just, man. Honestly, I think the African-American community has kept it alive. So much so that they've claimed it for themselves in two movies lately. The last two movies that it was. Mm-hmm. I think that's why. I think it's all white people on that one. <laughs> so it's the hood and the hood, too. Yeah. You're saying mm-hmm. leprechaun and the hood. I think yep. that's what kept it alive. Hmm. And then it reached its, uh, as far as it could go with it's that. full potential. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how ex- do you tap that? They explored everything, I'm pretty sure. Mm. He hasn't gone to hell yet. No. And he hasn't but, time traveled yet, has but, he? But I mean. He hasn't gone to Monster Island, for God's sake. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> hasn't fought Godzilla. But he went to space. And that's one of the key ones. And it <laughs> was direct is- to video. That hits two out of three quadrants. <laughs> yeah. Even though quadrants are fours. Well, he should go to Hong Kong and get in the martial arts. That you know. Wow. Oh, that wow. was uh, Legend of the Seven Golden Vampires. Because that was before <laughs> monsters went to space. They went to Asia and got right. in the martial arts. Right. Or yeah. they went to Egypt and met a mummy. Right. So see, I mean, you can keep this going forever, this series. There's an endless possibilities here. Yeah. I think he should, like, there should be the monster and the new Universal Monster movies with... You know, Freddy, Jason, and all that. And then just have him make a cameo at some point in it. I think that'd be fun. What I'd we, watch that movie. What if we just do Bloodsport with all the properties that will license right? just, it? Like Blood Sport, you just have yeah. a video game, Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Well, that's what uh, I was you know, just going to say. Why doesn't he show up in Mortal Kombat? Like, yeah. Jason got it. Freddy got it. Michael yeah. got it. He should get it, too. How would you? That would be great well, to get into Mortal Kombat and fight with Leprechaun. I hate to tell you this, Sean. I'm thinking that Leprechaun isn't as famous as mm. those two other no. Probably not. <laughs> no. <laughs> probably not. You're probably right, Colin. Bless well, me. Well, well, let him down easy. Let him down easy. <laughs> But I think uh, I think he's uh, recognizable to say the least. Like oh, yeah. if I were to show him a picture of this, you know what this is? And yeah. like, oh yeah, Leprechaun. I'm pretty sure most people are. You know, even oh, if where? you're not even worth saying really casual horror fans, just people in general. If you've gone to a video store, yeah, scrolled scrolled through, you know, the movies on Netflix or a streaming service, I'm sure you've come across. I'm sure you have the Leprechaun. But if you haven't, should you watch it? This is what you're going to find out, folks, after we answer some mail, because we're going to come back and we're going to tell you if you should watch Leprechaun. We're going to go around the table and find out what we all thought of it. But before that, we are going to summon our mailman, Igor. Where are you, sir? 
Masters! Masters, the mail! I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising. Rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Thank you, Igor. <laughs> Top of the morning. To, yeah, okay, bye. Thanks. <laughs> God damn it. There is a lot of green leaking out of him. So uh, That's yeah. true. He's always green yeah. for the holidays. Uh, so that's yeah. great. He fits in, in in this and Christmas. Yeah. He's always ready to go. Uh, so we're going to answer some of your mail and comments. If you want to get a hold of us, you can get a hold of of us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. You can get a hold of us on Twitter at Sat Freak Show. And, or you can email us Saturday Night Freak Show at yahoo.com. We should just give Michaela the Facebook. Yeah. You should get the yeah. Facebook yeah. one. Yeah. You can do the Facebook the one next time. Next time, right. do the Facebook All one. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Try it out now. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak hey, Show. she's got there her. You go. Perfect. <laughs> did it. All right. So our yeah. first comment. So cut uh, you out later yeah. and just add her in. There you go. Right. Um, so I incorrectly. Well, what did when you do? I, posted, I did okay. something. So I posted on, uh, you know, because, I mean, on Facebook, I always post the stories that are, the, sorry, post, you know, solicit comments by posting what movie we're going to be watching. And uh, I said the late Warwick Davis <gasps> stars as, because I got him confused with Kenny Baker. All little people are the same to you? Oh, oh my, my God. God. Colin. Oh, well, Chris Huddleston called Call Thank you, Chris. Chris. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> and I'm like, oh shit, I gotta go and change that. Yeah, the they're late. all the same to you, aren't they? Uh, the, the all Star diminutive Star Wars there is actors. Only one. Right. Um, Shane <laughs> yeah. O'Neill. That's a new name. Writes it about Leprechaun, and he says the original is still my favorite, but just for wacky fun time, Leprechaun in Space has the number two spot. <laughs> and uh, about our previous crazy. episode of Dune, Steve Hyden writes in and says, oh, Steve he loves the movie. Yeah. They so seamlessly cut 400 pages out in one scene. <laughs> Is that sarcastic or? Uh... <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if they did. I'm not that terribly familiar with it. I read it a long time ago. And as it gets further into the movie, I'm like less and less. Like, I don't think in the book he ends up as a literal god. Oh, he's faking it. Uh, uh, that was Steve. Steve got us the tickets for the movie the other day. Thank you, Steve. There you go. Thank you, Steve. And uh, so that brings us to our final wrap ups where we're going to go around the table and let you know what we thought about Leprechaun. One, two, three, and four. Okay, just one. <laughs> All right, awesome. Who's going to start us up? Colin. Oh, hey. What do uh, you think of Leprechaun? Okay, so um, yeah, this is a. Yeah, trying, trying to gather my thoughts now. Um, I don't think it works. I mean, that's you know, it has a makeup design, and the fact that Warwick Davis is having so much fun with it. I mean, it's kind of one of those like this is the pre Sharknado kind of thing, right? Where we've gone like the idea of like a doll that comes to life and kills people is silly on its face until you see how child's play was done and how Chucky was realized and brought to life. And you're like, Oh, this is actually working with some degree of like, you know, sinister intent on the part of this homicidal doll. Yes. I believe that it's real. I believe that the kid is in trouble. It's you vicious. know, yeah, there's a viciousness there. Uh, Leprechaun seems to be like, I mean, like, you know, kind of the hip, ironic, you know, kind of self-aware, self, you know, referential horror stuff where it's like, because it's a comedy, it's kind of like, well, don't take any of this seriously. This is just for fun. Like, okay, so then it should be fun. But all of the jokes fall flat on their ass. I mean, there's not a single, pardon me, Holly. No, I agree. <laughs> there's nothing in this that actually works. You know, it's like. I know you're saying there was one line that you liked. I'm like, I think that they were all like, yeah, absolutely. But, but to a certain standard, yeah. like it's the only one that made me go, ha. <laughs> yeah. you know, like a chuckle. That's right. all I got. <laughs> yeah. The jokes aren't working. It made her put, trying to take the gun away from her temple for a <laughs> yeah. second. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. What was that? Pretty like, much. Line two, like the kid was like, you know how I kill something? I put a gun to its temple and then I, and I'm like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um, the character arcs, don't seem to go anywhere. Like I was confused that Jennifer Aniston was actually the lead character in this movie because she didn't really have anything to do other than like, I mean, like she goes to a diner and they're sitting there having a conversation. And in that 
conversation, all she does is repeat the same uh, pieces of information over and over again. You know, it's like they cut away and come back and they're still talking about like the plate of food. It's like there's nothing to this uh, this person. Except at the end, she puts on a leather jacket and is able to run around with a shotgun and, and you know, be a badass and chase the leprechaun. That part might actually be realistic, because what really would they have in common? Like, yeah. Yeah. she's probably yeah. fishing for things to talk about. So yeah. that, might, that yeah. actually might have been realistic. But at some point, it seemed that, like, uh, uh, the dude that she was with, like, just kind of dropped out of the movie. I mean, yeah, once no, he got, he like, yeah. injured. Basically. Even before that, they're basically just in survival mode as we're chasing down this cheeky little leprechaun who's, like, riding around on a skateboard, you know, uh, laughing at them. So all the characters, like, just kind of check out. It ends up the day, or at the end of the day, the little kid is the one who actually, like, takes care of the leprechaun threat. And to restore order to the world. I mean, it's just, like, really slipshod. It's like they didn't figure out a way to tie all the pieces together. So it doesn't work as a movie, I guess, is what I'm going after. I didn't think it was well uh, directed or put together. So I'm like, I don't see the appeal of Leprechaun beyond, like, you know, something similar like Dr. Giggles, which I went back and watched a little while ago, too. And it was like, I remember this being, like, passable and okay in 1992. And now it's like, I can't stand it. It's like, what, this is just isn't working at all. You know, it's like you got the uh, the jokey, you know, dentist or what is it? Dentist or a doctor? I think, he's a den- <laughs> I think the dentist is the dentist. I think he's a doctor. They're right. The yeah. dentist. That's yes. another one. Yeah. Corbin so, uh, <laughs> yeah. Am I being too hard on Leprechaun? Because I really didn't like this movie like at all. And like I said, now I'm on at least the third and possibly a fourth viewing. And I won't remember this again, you know, like three years from now. It's like memento. Says, hey, it we should watch it. Yeah. Starts escaping as soon as you're done watching mm-hmm. it. So we'll go, we'll it... go over it again in a year. When yeah. yeah. Up, uh, part, part two. two. Yeah. 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 It's all right. But uh, I think it doesn't stick because there's nothing actually happening here. And the, uh, the set pieces aren't memorable enough. Like it's a, you know, a, a slasher movie or something. But there's no, the gore doesn't deliver. You know, he scratches someone. Ooh. You know, he mm-hmm. put, does a yeah. pogo stick on him. It's like, you need to pull, you know, the guy's face off yes. or you know, something <laughs> to make the, to mm-hmm. give it some punctuation. It doesn't do it. So I would say, folks, you got to pass on Leprechaun. Holly, what'd you think? I, yeah, no, I think you're right on there. I, I was very disappointed because um, I remember being a kid and thinking this movie was, was fun, but it just doesn't play. It, it leaves it leaves you wanting so much more because there there's like you said there's there's no character arc there's no follow through with any of it you know characters are just they're there for like one singular moment and then there's just no purpose for them the rest of the movie it's very confusing of of what is actually supposed to be what is supposed to be coming together in this film? And also, he keeps saying that he's hard to catch. He's really easy to catch. <laughs> you just can't keep him. Like, it's it's very annoying. You can't catch me. They just caught you. Like, it's really, really, it bugged me. Um, yeah, no, I, I have to agree. I don't... I don't even know why Nathan was there at one point. Like, other than he was supposed to be, like, the hot guy that she was interested in. Mm. Like, after that, it was just... They didn't give him anything. And it, it, it was just... And her dad... Drops out after he gets bitten and that's yeah. it. it. It was just all very jumbled. Um, there there needed to be a lot more. And I agree with the, the gore. It was so surfacy. There needed to be so much more, um, more to it. I, I'm guessing they just didn't have the budget for it. Um, yeah, no, Go I... Skill. Go yeah. hard. Yeah, 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 no. Yeah, it just... It wasn't there. You needed more. Um... No, the yeah, best design was the fucking melting leprechaun at the end. It was. It really was. The was. Best, uh, yeah. Fact in Why the didn't he movie. look like that the whole time? Right. It was way cooler. Yeah, yeah. Well, it would. It, right. Yeah. If it would have been slowly like if the damage he took on during the movie, you started to see it as it went along. Agreed. Yeah. He looked cool. It was cool. That. But that was it. That moment was. That's. That was all that sold it for me. Um, was that one moment at the end when he's melting? Other than that, it just it all was lacking. Um. Yeah, I think if you want to go for a fun, cheesy watch, maybe check out one of the sequels. Um, I know I remember Parts of the Hood was great um, for a laugh, but I can't recommend Leprechaun. Good conscience. No, got to say pass. 
Yeah, so there's a line in this movie where Jennifer Aniston is flirting with the hunky paint guy, not Joey Lawrence. She asks him if the paint that they're painting the exterior of their house with is biodegradable. (laughs) That's about how much sense this fucking movie makes is that line right there. Hey, guys, if you're painting the outside of your house, you don't want your paint to be fucking biodegradable. No, you want it to last. You want Exactly. Um, So this movie just doesn't have any structure or follow any of the sort of kind of tropes or... You know, established rules were used to mm-hmm. in any in any genre of horror. It just kind of it literally felt like they were making it up as as they were going yeah. along. If you told me this was a student film, good job, students, you tried. Bravo, this, yeah, oh yeah. This is a student yeah. film, like wow, yeah. you did awesome. <laughs> you know, that was it's great. not perfect, but holy shit, good effort. <laughs> what yeah, you did? yeah, exactly. Yeah, work, Davis. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I, it, it's it's not. It doesn't cross into like the campy funness of no of like yeah. far enough. It doesn't push that oh. enough to be entertaining. It's just, it's right there. It's so close to being mm-hmm. there, but it's not quite there. But you'd think with a leprechaun, like the they, premise they, is so absurd. Yeah. yeah, why is it not pushed further? And I, yeah. the sequels definitely push it a lot further. Yes. Um, and I and like I I guess after watching this, most of my memories of Leprechaun come from In the Hood. Because yeah, like, I was yeah, like, exactly. okay, I guess I don't think I've seen this movie, at least not recently, because I didn't remember much of this. But, you know, in the hood, has you get great moments. You get you get Warwick Davis telling Ice-T, a friend with weed is a friend indeed. Like, yes. this is the kind yes. of stuff you're in for in the hoods. And there's nothing nearly that enjoyable in this movie. So I think, like, if you, if you really have to see one of these, watch one of the two hood ones, because those are the best ones. Agreed. Well, I, I kind of put this... Like, we're talking about if we put it in, like, monster movies or whatever. I would put it in, like, uh, kind of in holiday horror because it does have, like, a weird... Yeah, it definitely fits in. Like, I mean, they never mentioned St. Patrick's Day. It's not a part of the thing. But if we're... Even if we're putting it in the the holiday horror, it won't even crack my top ten. It's, you know, there's so many better holiday horror movies out there. So, I think think it's ripe for... uh, I was going to say, if you want a a better remake... Ripe for a better remake, yeah. yeah. My Bloody Valentine episode. Yeah, exactly. There you go. If you want a better St. Patrick's Day movie, look at Halloween three. Am I yeah, right? yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Silver yeah. Shamrock. Yeah, yeah. I agree. <laughs> you just recommended Halloween three, and that's going to stick with you for the rest of your life. I feel a little gross about that too, because yeah, I'm not a fan of that joke. movie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Wait, yeah. Did we do that episode? I think we did. We did, yeah, and nobody yeah. recommended yeah. it. No, not that. No, that movie. <laughs> uh, yeah, it just it doesn't it doesn't cr- it like if it reached the room level, you know. Mm-hmm. Absurdity, it would be great, mm-hmm. but it doesn't. No, you've never seen the room. No, I know, but the room is her star crash. Oh, yeah. gotcha. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah, she it's my barometer for everything. Star crash. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. No. all right. So one night we need to do a swap. Stop, where yeah, we watch yeah. Star crash, and because I would love to watch both of them again. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, I can't recommend this. Okay. Um, I guess nostalgia is a great lens to view the world through. It's unfortunate. <laughs> That when going back and watching a movie like this, that it ended up being so boring. <sighs> it's very repetitive. Very. The story is just, it's just stalling so that they can have the leprechaun run around and cause quote unquote havoc to these people. Um, that I mean, there's just, like everyone said, there's not a lot going on here. The characters won't really do much. I mean, yeah, the, the leprechaun's looking for his gold, and I guess the leprechaun is maybe the only reason you would go back to a movie like this because there's really nothing else that I mean is going to bring you back to this. If you if you're looking for something in this series, you definitely would look at the other sequels for more of a more of the comedic value because again, it gets amped up as the sequels go on and I think that's where it's uh, bread is buttered. I think when it goes to the uh extreme on kind of the uh I mean, it's got to be the In the Hood sequels. I think that's where it hit its peak. It's probably where it's funniest. It's probably where it's most enjoyable. You're saying that's the closest it gets to Sharknado level. I, I mean, I guess so. And I think that's where it, this should live. Um, yeah, I, yeah. Definitely. But again, I haven't watched them, so I don't know. <laughs> no, yeah, they're the most absurd, for sure. And I and maybe absurdity is where a killer leprechaun mm-hmm. needs yeah. to live. Mm. But it's, again, this move, the first one is not, uh, woof, I... Uh, I hadn't watched it in a while, and I, I kind of wish, uh, kind of wish I hadn't. I kind of wish I could have just lived in that that VHS. I'm glad you picked up the four movie set based on. I, the, I mean, <laughs> I'm going all in. I'm, I don't, I, but I don't regret the decision to uh, get all uh, four. I guess because one day. It's in a fine seven dollars. Sure, show. right. It was like five dollars. All right, seven dollars may have been a bit too much to get this, considering it's DVD. In five years, I may be like, huh. 
I need to watch a leprechaun. I feel I feel the need. And I'll probably not go for the first one. And maybe find one of the other ones, probably part three. To so is that again. two movies in a row that the nostalgia has been ruined for you now? I guess so. What was the last one we watched? <laughs> the Arrival, Arrival, right? The Arrival. Yeah. 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 Wow. <laughs> Don't, uh, you can't go home. You can't go back. Nostalgia. <laughs> it's, uh, it, nostalgia is a killer. Yeah. Um, I don't think I can in good conscience recommend Leprechaun. Um, I mean, it is like, if you're going to, that there's been no other killer Leprechaun movie, right? Like I'm not missing something here. Do we need here. one? Uh, but I, but we I think might need like a good one. <laughs> I, th- I mean, but I, can you do anything besides go like with the cliches? The crypt or tales from the dark side. I can't. It's like I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure like this is it. Like yeah. this is is. Uh, I think they got everything within six movies. I think they got everything they were going to get out of these. Mm-hmm. And I think if you have to, if you feel that need, I'm sure you can find something in the series. But as far as the first one goes. Ah, ew, I can't recommend it. It's not uh, not enough happening in this movie. Not effects wise. Not story wise. Not character wise. Do you recommend one of the sequels? Probably part three. I mean, I think it's the quote unquote best one out of them. Out of really <laughs> that's, cheap. That's the Vegas. Really, one, right? yes, the Vegas one. Really yeah. cheap ass. <laughs> Fucking movies. I mean, for the sheer insanity of whatever, Leprechaun 4, because he goes to fucking space. And it's a Leprechaun in space. <laughs> like, it's insane. So maybe do that. But the first one, I you could probably... You, and you can skip it, because they have really nothing to do with each other besides... There's no continuity whatsoever. Warwick Davis just shows up in a different scenario, and things happen to people. Sure. So you could really go to any one of them. They are all Leprechaun 1. They just have different locations. <laughs> right. So pick one of those and go with those, but don't go with the first one. It's I, I can't recommend it. Nope. Skip it. We should write a versus movie with him and Harry Warden. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I will sing the soundtrack. A holiday versus. Movie. Ah, they are great. so very close. I went through this yeah. entire podcast without doing a, a Irish accent that was offending ah. people. Yeah. Yeah. I'll keep it that way. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, that's uh, Leprechaun uh, that's on the Saturday Night Freak Show. Next week, we're going to be watching a movie that's chosen by Holly. Ooh. Holly, what are we watching? Next week, we're going to challenge my nostalgia Uh-oh. with Uh-oh. a little movie called Demolition Man. <gasps> yeah! yeah! Fuck yeah! <laughs> I love this movie. It smells like biscuits and gravy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. Be sure to tune in, and until then, the basement is going dark.